Good afternoon, people. Watch them at 65. Happy New Year. I think, in my opinion, in my, what I'm seeing, and what I'm sensing, and I'm sure you feel the same way, this is the church's last New Year. I feel it. I can sense it. And with everything going on, This is it. <laughs> this is it. So this should be a happy new year for a lot of us Christians who are watching and waiting for the Lord's appearing in the rapture. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. I can't help but to feel. I woke up with mixed emotions this morning and um I didn't sleep good last night because something is on the verge of happening and I I personally I believe it's the rapture and I woke up with a heavy heart for those who are lost because they are going to experience a hell, a literal hell on earth. At this point, the only thing I can do is give you the gospel and tell you the truth about the gospel. It's up to the individual and God. And hope that, the you know, they listen to the Holy Spirit. That's all I can do. How do you come to this? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. And you are rapture ready, which is about to happen at any moment. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not and cannot lose your salvation. You are sealed. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, change you. He's your best friend. That's the gospel right there. Um, and I can't help but to feel, and I, I, I think it's kind of like I know we're going to be leaving soon. I think that's what it is, too. It's a little bit of emotion mixed with the fact that we're going to be leaving soon. And I can feel that. I can sense that. And I can also sense what's coming. Like I said, those who are going to be left here are going to suffer. Will people get saved? Yeah. Yep. People will get saved. And unfortunately, a lot of those people who get saved are going to die. I'm talking the great tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble. That's what this world is headed for. We, the church, is not. But those who are left here, unfortunately, they are. I'm going to give you this uh, article. This, is, this came out this morning, actually. And it came out of RT. North Korea has ordered a new ICBM and larger much larger nuclear arsenal. It says North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has called for the country to develop a new ICBM and boost its nuclear arsenal amid rising tensions on the Korean peninsula, state-run media reported. So Pyongyang requires overwhelming 
military power to defend itself as Washington and our undoubted enemy, Seoul, South Korea, try to isolate and stifle North Korea with U.S. arsenal or with U.S. nuclear assets deployed in South Korean territory. This is what he said, Kim said, today. And this is according, again, to state-run uh, news agency. During a meeting of the ruling party of Korean, the WPK, the country's leader insisted that a new ICBM capable of a, listen to this, a quick nuclear counterstrike must be developed by North Korea. Now, how long is it going to take to develop this? Who knows? I'm sure it won't take long because he already has the equipment and the material to do this. So I'm thinking this year. Kim stressed the importance of mass producing tactical nuclear weapons, saying an ex exponential increase of the country's nuclear arsenal would be the main orientation of North Korea's defense strategy in 2023. It says Pyongyang is also planning to launch, listen to this, to launch its first military satellite at the earliest date possible. And this is in the final stages of development. Again, they also have EMP capability. On Saturday, Kim praised the country's defense industry for developing 30 new 600 millimeter super large multiple rocket launchers to the military. He described the nuclear-capable system as the country's core offensive weapon, which can strike anywhere in South Korea with surprise and precision launches. Now, I think that the U.S. is going to be um, worn thin so to speak. They can't be in several places. The military here, number one, they don't have enough people here in the U.S. in the military. They can't be in South Korea, say Israel, Ukraine, all at the same time. So there you go. It says, we have declared a resolute will to respond with nuke for nuke and an all-out confrontation for an all-out confrontation, he warned as he quoted the news agency. North Korea carried out a number of uh, missiles tests this year, some of which involved ICBMs according to calculations by Western media outlets. And it has already fired a short-range ballistic missile off its east coast in the early hours of the new year. Yeah, they did that the other day. I think either yesterday or the day before. Washington and Seoul have claimed that the North is gearing up for its nuclear tests, has been gearing up for its nuclear tests since 2017. South Korean President... I found this on the web. Whoops. South Korean President uh, Yoon Suk, I think that's his name, warned on Sunday that North Korea would continue with its nuclear and missile provocations. Now let's look at something right there. I'm going to stop right there. Let's look at this. So you got North Korea, you got Russia, you got Iran. Who else is there? Uh, 
I think that's it. These are the three major. And you got, well, you might as well include the United States. So you got the U.S. with nukes. You got this fool right here, Pillsbury Doughboy, with nukes and wanting more. Russia, who has the most of all. Iran. So all of these super nuclear powers together. We don't have long, folks. Not at all. And I think we're going to see the rapture this year. I'm making that bold statement. Because like I had said before, everything is busting at the seams to get out. Including us. <laughs> but everything else is busting at the seams to get out. Including this, this dude right here. Say, uh, so it says uh, that North Korea will continue its nuclear and mi missile provocations, assisting that Seoul's military should respond to such moves with clear retaliation, according to the office. On Monday, Pyongyang sent five drones in the South Korean territory, with Seoul responding by flying three UAVs into North Korean airspaces. South Korean Defense Minister Lee Jung, Lee Jung Soup. <laughs> Soup. Sup. I think his name is Sup. Told Parliament on Wednesday that President Yoon had ordered him to come up with a uh, with the same response, even if that means risking escalation. So I don't think South Korea is gonna put up with much of this. Tensions have been on the rise since the two neighbors beat since Yoon came into power in May and declared a peace through strength policy, which is based on further boasting military ties with the U.S. In late December, which is a few days ago, Seoul announced an increase in joint drills with Americans with 20 such exercises planned in the next couple of weeks alone. So this thing has also escalated with North Korea. So between, let's look at the rogue states, North Korea, Russia, and Iran. Yeah, something's got to give. Something's got to give. I don't know what kind of feeling that was that I had this morning. But... To say that it was joyful because we're entering this year with it possibly being the last year that we're here. I don't think, I don't feel with everything that's going on here and everything that has to be implemented, including the uh, banks with their implement, uh, with their implement, their policies. Everything is supposed to happen, including the banks and everything else, with this program, that digital currency thing, supposed to be implemented in May. With everything happening, I just don't feel that we, we got long here. And like I said, it could have been a dreaded feeling because of who's going to be left here. And what's going to happen. Because we see it. With eyes wide open. And it's not pretty. Not at all. I will be back later. With more. And you enjoy the rest of your day. But I will be back later. Thank you.